Welcome Sagittarius, I'm Juanita and today we're going to look at uh, the next two weeks and what it is that um, you know you might need to work on over that time okay to help you along your journey. Okay Sagittarius, the sacred <coughs> forest oracle excuse me um, and I'll show you Zen Tarot. I was going to change this one but I just really do connect with these ones. And I feel like that's bringing the best messages through for you right now. So, yeah, I'll just keep at it. I've got my handy-dandy paper here just in case I think of a, a title. <laughs> I'll put that over there, though. I've been doing that because, like, at the, um, at the end, I'm like... I don't even know what to call that. Like, I don't even remember half the things that went on, you know, and it's, yeah. And then by the time I've actually uploaded it and gone to do the title, it's all gone. Okay, so first off here, we have Enchanted Fern Grotto Refuge. Sorry, let me share. Refuge. There's a horse inside that. Is that like the Pegasus? Oh, yeah, it's like this Pegasus kind of thing in there. Sorry, let me turn it around. See? It's like that, right, inside of there. So it's kind of like... Refuge. I wonder if, for some of you, there's some kind of protection you're putting around yourself. It could be for some of you that there's, like, feeling like being around a particular person. Oh, how do I put this? Being around a particular person isn't allowing you to rise up as high as you could go. But for you, it's like a comfort thing or a security thing. Mm, interesting. Wow. Wow. We have Sorrow and Thunderbolt here. That's interesting. Something's holding you back. Your fears. Your sadness. Your pain, maybe. But it's like if it's like you've kind of maybe for some of you, or this may have even happened in the past, that you put your trust into ah, here we go. Here we go, Sagittarius. You once upon a time, you put your trust into somebody. You 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 handed your heart over to someone. And it's like, see, I kind of see this um globe here as your heart, and they held it up. And, uh, and then they dropped it and it smashed to smithereens. And now you're scared. You've put your, you've put a, uh, a, uh, um, protection around yourself. And you swore at that time, I will never, ever, ever do that again. And it still hurts you to this day. Everything came crashing down around you. And it still hurts you. You still silently at night cry yourself to sleep.
Wizard of the Woods focus. A complete change of direction here. Focus. Um, okay, sorry, Sagittarius, let me just give myself a little bit. There's some kind of, I feel like this is about this magician, like there's, there's some sort of magic inside of you, and um, and it's going to take focus for you to let it out. But it's kind of like, holding the magic within you and you don't want to hold it in until you're too old to actually let it out in a sense but it's been in you for a really 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 long time and maybe from putting this protection around yourself Sagittarius you have held the magic in and haven't let it out and maybe it's the case That if you have the right focus, you can still let the magic out. Look. Celebration. Having people around you who support you and lift you up. Um, something that you've applied yourself to may very well be rewarding you. Uh, you know, like you might be getting rewarded for. Um, I'm just saying that, um, like, abundance, yeah, you might be getting rewarded for something that you've put your mind to for a really long time, um, and it's finally paying off. It's finally paying off. What a turn. What a turn from the beginning. This could have even been in business. You know, this could have been in business that this happened. Maybe. But, yeah. I'm not sure. Let's have a look. This is very interesting, Sagittarius. Very interesting. Freedom. Wow. Okay. Okay, Sagittarius. Freedom. Unless this is a possibility that if you put your focus into actually, maybe you have, maybe you've been focusing on healing, Sagittarius, and this is going to lead to this abundance, this joyful existence ha uh ha -huh. maybe that's the case because we have freedom here um and and the eagle flying up right like the and then we've got this pegasus horse down here that was in the globe it is no longer in the globe and it's kind of like sagittarius it's kind of like the eagle the horse is looking at the eagle so it can learn how to fly. Like the eagle, it's like the eagle is its teacher. Showing it, hey, this is how you do it. This is how you fly. And by doing that, then the Pegasus then has freedom. Bam, yeah. It's like it's broken free. It's broken free from the globe. Right, and, and that's going to lead to this abundance. Like it's finally on its own magic carpet. It's on its own um, kind of like path. And um, yeah, there's definitely something to celebrate here. How exciting. How exciting. I feel as though, oh, that's so funny, this flipped out here right as I was going to say this. I feel like this is about you letting go of things also that no longer serve you limiting beliefs anything in your life be it addictions or anything that is not helping you okay so because look at this bird here these all these birds here are flying right and this one's still in the cage it's like 
this self-imposed cage, keeping yourself in the cage. You have the ability to fly and have this freedom, but you're just not quite sure you can do it. Okay, um, but oh, seriously, Sagittarius, you can absolutely do it. This is just fear. These are your own fears that are holding you back right now. Okay, those fears from getting hurt and, and this thunderbolt happening again, right? Looking beyond the illusion of that, yeah? Looking, be, like really coming within and seeing that this is just an illusion. There's no bars here. You just believe they're there, okay? It's kind of like it's time to come out of the cocoon now and understand that you've transformed into this butterfly, right? Like there's just, wow, this is incredible. This is absolutely incredible and so exciting. Just calm myself down. Like, first of all, started with, like, my eyes welling up, and now I'm, like, you know, first row, and I'm, like, I'm like, woo, we're away. Anyhow, Spirit Guardian of Summer, expansion. Look at this fruit tree here that's been planted. Yeah, like, thing, th this takes time, man. This takes work to get this to grow, to produce Fruit. Do you know how many years it takes for an apple tree to grow that big and produce produce fruit like that? I don't actually know how many years, but lots of years. Um, you know, this is like... This could very well be the journey that you've been on, Sagittarius. This could have been you going, you know what? I'm going to put this, I'm going to do this, man. I got absolutely and utterly shat on, but I'm going to rise up and I am going to be this. I'm going to protect this for now and I'm going to look at this, standing in that power, you know, and I'm going to grow this for myself. So, so cool. Okay, so, yeah, ripeness, see? Oh, <laughs> um, it's absolutely coming to fruition. Like there's, I I wonder if this is kind of like the last step on this path, flowering. Wow, this is so cool, man. Like the last step on this path, and I wonder if there's going to be a new journey to embark upon. Let's have a look. Thicket of thorns, uncertainty. Oh. Okay, there's a bit of a twist, a bit of a twist. Flowering. See, like, roses, right, have thorns, yeah, but they have this beautiful flower. <sighs> Something stopping you in your tracks. The past is coming back to haunt some of you. It could be that you thought you were well and truly done with this. Thing that went on but it, something's popped up something's popped up and it's kind of like a bit like the deer in headlights you know like <gasps> hmm um, the other thing could be is that you're not sure which direction to go in from here. And you're a little bit scared because last time you had to walk a new path, it began like this. Yeah, that could be the case for some of you, but we've got inner voice has jumped out and experiencing. Hmm. Thicket of thorns, uncertainty. I 
I feel like um, along this journey, Sagittarius, you have learned a lot of things. Even prior to this Thunderbolt time, you there was a lot of things that you could draw on to, you know, seek refuge and actually do what you need to do. Okay, um, I feel as though some of you don't have the faith that you'll be able to start a new journey, whether this thunderbolt happened a long time ago or has been just recent. I feel like for some of you, the uncertainty is a little bit crippling. Um, and it could be that you've kind of like started to walk the path a little bit, but there could be some things that are cropping up a little bit like triggers in a sense. Okay, and I feel as though it's a matter of you trusting your wisdom, trusting that you have the knowing as to what direction to go in. Um, it could be a, there could be some things that feel familiar to you. Um, and it's scaring you a little bit for some reason. But what I feel like is that it's necessary for you. You don't need to go back and seek refuge again. It's like you actually need to experience this. Feel like you're afraid that you're gonna walk back into this but this time you actually need to have this experience and listen to your inner voice because something in your side of you is saying it's okay keep going but you're afraid Some of you, your inner voice may be telling you to run. Um, there could be confusion though about what is your inner voice and what is fear. So I feel like it's really important for you to work with your inner voice and get very clear as to what is intuition and what is just fear. Starry night, acceptance. You see, th this, I feel like there's a need to sleep on it, to sleep. When you go to make a decision, sleep on it so that it's a lot clearer in the morning. There's something about an needing to accept this. There's, there's an inner wisdom that resides within. Um, and I just wonder if once upon a time, you... Ignored the inner voice and it ended up turning to this. It's like you followed your heart because that's what your heart wanted, but your inner voice was screaming out, don't go, don't go that way. For some of you, there might need to be an acceptance of what has happened. You might be finding it hard to accept that what happened happened. Hmm, I'm not, I don't know, there's lots of different things coming out. Could be different situations for all of you. The creator, yeah, tapping into this creator, into this knowingness, into this intuition that you have, right? Yeah, but thinking of times where that intuition has been so loud and clear, there was no mistaking it. I think, I think there's something that you're just afraid of. New vision. 
a new vision and transformation the creator It's kind of like Sagittarius, in order to protect yourself, you kind of like drew these lines of what you will be in. See, so you've even got this circle here again, right? It's like I put myself in here and I'll control the growth that happens. I'll be in control of that growth. Yes, I want to fly, but I will be in control of that so that this, this doesn't happen again. And now it's time to break out of that. In order for this transformation to happen. Some of you are not trusting yourself for some reason. What is going on here? I'm kind of getting like the more we go along, the more a little bit like confused I'm getting. Not confused, but I'm just not sure. Pure spirit though. Purification. Purification. This is a nice card. Purification. It's almost like this is what I'm seeing right I'm seeing top of your head opening and like this <laughs> kind of like oh okay you need to sit down and you need to pour white light through your entire body don't cut the top of your head off like not literally like just visualize it okay and visualize light like this flowing through um and filling up your entire body. It's like you need to soak yourself and immerse yourself in that energy, okay, in order to release and let go of anything that is, is, is um, stopping this inner voice from coming through and stopping this intuition from being heard, okay, to allow this transformation, okay, for the new vision to actually take form because this new vision you can like what what you grow from from what happened here um like the possibilities are just absolutely beyond the imagination and but this purification here is needed for that to happen because there's still this protection mode going on. Totality. Yeah. Um, feels like it's going to rain. And I've got like my washing out. Sorry. Just getting distracted here. Totality. Um, I feel like there's this connection. There's a connection. Maybe this is a connection. Maybe you've met someone Sagittarius. And it's like, do you want to? And it's like, oh, but I don't. I really, really want to, but I don't. That's super interesting. Receptivity. You know, Sagittarius, this is opening yourself up to receiving love. I know that when you've been hurt before, it's scary to be vulnerable again. But Sagittarius, like, you want this loving relationship and you want to be loved and embraced. But in order to be loved and embraced, you have to be receptive to receiving that. You can't keep yourself closed off and receive it as well. That's not possible. You have to open up. Daffodil fairy, new beginnings. See, here's the springtime again, right? New beginnings see like it really is kind of like taking this leap of faith and just going for it yeah but you're in your mind about it you want a new beginning look at this look at this you want this new beginning but look at what's stopping this 
ta-da, this could happen. But no, we're going to do this. You're keeping yourself, this heart area in this cage here, it's keeping you from not seeing and not hearing what is good for you, not, not allowing this to come in, not allowing yourself to be able to break out. Yeah? You're keeping that blindfold on. So because this is trying to protect you from this. But this energy here is all stopping this from coming through. Right, we want this to come forward and, and this for all this to be behind us, right? That's what we want. So we need to purify that energy in order for this to take place. Because this is old and it's stale and we don't need it anymore. It's not protecting us. It's holding us back. Okay? It's holding you back. Sagittarius it's not there's no way you can ever build a solid foundation in this energy not at all and this is not also what you want to create in this new beginning okay yeah wild rose fairy love look at this Look at this person, she's like the same kind of like pose here, the same stance, right? Breaking out, yeah, I'm in, I'm bouncing through the daffodils into the roses, like pew, new beginning in love, a new beginning in love, Sagittarius, how exciting, get excited about it, rather than being afraid of it, because you're trying to put all these things into place to be like, how can I fly but still protect myself? How can I transform but stay in the cocoon? <laughs> you know? And it's like, no, you can't. You know? <laughs> you just can't. You have to, like, honestly, Sagittarius, you have to allow yourself to have this love. Because you deserve that, yeah? Participation. Participate in it. All right? Participate in it, Sagittarius. Just be it. Because, oh my gosh, this could lead to marriage. Is that what you want? That's what you want, right? You want a new beginning and you want it to be forever and you want it to be everything that you've ever dreamed of. And it can be if you get out of your own way. See this healing here? See this here? Healing all these parts of yourself so that your heart can open up. And there could be a bit more healing to do. There could be, you know, much more healing to do. Who knows, right? But the healing is the purification. Okay, that's all part of it. And maybe you're still in that healing. You know, maybe that's what it is. And maybe you've met someone and gone, I really can't do this because I'm still healing. I haven't healed properly and I'm going to stuff it up, blah, blah, blah. Do you know what? The best thing to do, Sagittarius, is to communicate. Communicate with the person to say, this is what happened to me before. I am petrified it's going to happen to me again. And I'm still healing. And how can we work this out together? To do things differently, rather than shut yourself away and, to, you know, and, and create that kind of scenario. Right? I just want to see if anything else comes out here for Sagittarius. We have pulled all the cards, but I just be conscious. Consciousness, live, doing things differently, right? Cutting out all the things that don't serve you. Communicate in a loving way. This is an awesome, awesome reading. I love this Sagittarius because it is absolutely there for the taking. But are you going to be able... To do what you need to do to have this to be receptive to it. Two of cups, friendliness, bringing this together, filling up your cup with what it is that you want to receive. So the two cups come together and um, and complement one another. 
yeah like oh my god Sagittarius I'm so excited I'm so excited okay Sagittarius please like comment below and tell me like what is going on like if this resonates for you like I, I so want to know because I love a happy story <laughs> and you know like this is this is exciting so yeah um Sagittarius please subscribe and share and like and do all that other stuff as well um, because I just really want to help people heal and and help them along their journey okay and um, and we can do that together by doing that okay Sagittarius I will leave that with you best of luck okay see ya bye bye